You don't have to garden very long to understand that knowing a little soil chemistry can go a long way with success in your garden. So why don't we take a moment for a little chemistry lesson using some natural materials, some things that you can find in your own kitchen. Now, the pH of the soil is really important, particularly if you want to grow some vegetables, and I mean lots of great looking vegetables. So we're going to talk about whether the soil is slightly acidic or slightly alkaline. For growing vegetables, you want your soil to be slightly acidic. Now take for instance this. I've taken some red cabbage and created two jars of cabbage juice. Now we're using a red cabbage because, well, cabbages are neutral on that scale from zero to 14 zero being the most acidic, 14 being the most alkaline. Right at the middle, seven is neutral. So we're using some cabbage juice, which was made from boiling some cabbage with distilled water. And when you do that, you get cabbage water that's this color. Okay, now, if we take a neutral substance and we add vinegar, which, yes, is an acid, what happens is it goes pink. If we take cabbage water, which is neutral, and we add a base, in this case baking soda, what happens is it turns blue. Now you may be wondering, what does this have to do with my soil? Well, let me show you what you can do. If you're doing soil testing in your garden, you usually want to take some samples from various places. So here I've got four samples, but I'm just going to use one to explain what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to take about two little amounts of soil here from one place in the garden. And what I'm going to do is take the cabbage juice, which remember is neutral, and I'm just going to pour a little bit of this around in this saucer like that. And then I'm going to stir that soil around and see what sort of reaction we get. And you can see it's already turning bluer which means that it's slightly alkaline, all right? If this had been pink, that would mean my soil is slightly acidic. Now, you can see this is not a precise exercise or experiment, but it does give you an idea of roughly where your soil is in terms of pH. If you wanna be more precise, you can get a pH kit, or you can contact your local county extension service and they can take samples and give you a very precise reading of the pH of your garden soil. Now the reason for getting the pH right in your garden is that it makes nutrient uptake the most efficient for your plants. And when that's efficient, that means you're going to have a bountiful return.